video is coming to you by request. I had one of my readers who commented on a photo I posted of my taco that I used a hard shell cheese taco that I had made at home and they were wondering how I did it. So today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make your own keto taco out of only shredded cheddar. All right. First of all, you need to set the oven to 420 degrees. The next thing you need to do is to get your cheese drying station set up and really whatever you have on hand, I have the cu two cups in each row. You obviously want them about the same height. And then, it, I mean, it could be wooden spoons, it could be chopsticks, just something that you can, you know, lay the cheese over to form the taco shell shape um, while it dries and hardens. The next thing is you're going to have your shredded cheddar. Ideally you do shred your own cheddar because it does not have the anti-caking ingredient that the store-bought kind has. And you want just about, you know, a quarter cup that you're going to put on parchment paper. Parchment paper is very, very important to this. I would not use anything else. I certainly would not put it directly on the pan. And because I have um, three cheese drying stations over there, I will make three tacos. So you get these all set up and then just kind of shape it into a general round shape. Obviously this is going to melt down quite a bit and as it melts down it's also going to spread out a little bit. All right so now we're going to stick this in the oven at 420 degrees. Now if you've ever made nachos in your life and I'm sure most of you have, you know once the cheese starts melting it's going to get bubbly very quickly and what we want to see is we want to see the cheese getting very bubbly, you want to see a lot of grease running out and that's when you pull it out of the oven. If you pull it out too soon the cheese is not going to set up properly. If you pull it out too late it's going to start hardening in the oven and that's not what you want either. So just bubbling, getting greasy and I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. Okay we're going to take a quick look. Now if you see the cheese in there, it is very melted, but it hasn't really started bubbling yet. So it's not quite time to take out of the oven. Okay, now let's take a look. Now if you see, they're just starting to get a couple of brown speckles on the end. They're very bubbly, they look very greasy. This is when you wanna take them out. Okay, so this is where it's gonna get a little bit tricky because if you try to take them off the parchment paper too soon, they're just gonna fall apart and be all stringy. If you don't take them off soon enough, then it will already have started to harden into its new shape. So this is where you just have to kind of play around with it, kind of check it every now and then. And uh, it might take a few tries to, to figure it out, but I've got to wait a few minutes. They just came out of the oven. Like they're just sitting there, they're chilling right now. So as soon as, as soon as they start to come off, then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm gonna start trying the first one and we'll see how it goes. Got the first one hung. Okay, they are hanging to dry now. All right, I'm gonna let these hang for at least 20 minutes, let them get totally chilled and fully solidified in their new form. And once they are fully solidified, you can either start making tacos right away or you can put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the fridge until you're ready so you can actually batch cook these ahead of time. And I've had them up in, uh, I've had them in the fridge for up to three or four days and just kind of made tacos throughout the week. So it's really easy to make once you get the hang of it, but it does take a few tries to figure out when exactly to take it out of the oven and when exactly to, uh, to take it off the parchment paper for when it's ready to hang. So we'll come back and I will show you just how, how so solid they are and how, uh, how well they hold up. Okay, so these are done. So I wanna show you just how well they really set up. So I will take this middle one and you'll see it is a perfectly formed taco shell. Now I will throw a picture up here to show you one that already has all the fillings and stuff because I don't have all that ready for this video. But I just wanted to show you. And the great thing about these, if you, you know, I'm sure again, you probably all had the hard corn taco shells, but as soon as you bite into them, the whole taco just falls apart. Not with these. These are very sturdy, they're very malleable. And as you eat your taco, it totally keeps its form. It does not fall apart. You don't have taco 
fillings filling out onto your plate, which then you have to eat with a fork. So these actually, in my opinion, are way better than your standard corn taco shells and they won't bloat your belly. All right, like I said, this personally, this recipe was a request from one of my viewers. And if you have any recipes or food demonstrations that you would like to see, then make sure you comment below. I love getting requests from my audience and I love being able to help you guys out by demonstrating. I already have a few on my list. So if you have made a request, I have not forgotten about you, um, but it is on my list of videos to make. All right, guys, before you go, make sure you like this video if you haven't already. Share it with other people you know because that gets the word out about my channel and lets people know who I am. And then, of course, comment with anything. Subscribe, like, share, and I will see you guys on the next video.